A former New Jersey State Assemblyman and past chairman of the Hudson County Republican Party, Frank Arjulo has been a member of the North Bergen Board of Commissioners for nearly three decades. But what Frank is most known for is being an educator. The recently retired superintendent of schools for the Hudson County Schools of Technology was honored this evening at Nanina's in the Park here in Belleville during the Hudson County Schools of Technology Foundation Gala. During the Hudson County School of Technology Foundation's annual gala, the four-decade career of Frank Arjulo as an educator in Hudson County was celebrated. Memories of his time as a coach and principal at St. Joseph of the Palisades High School in West New York to his 28 years as HCST's superintendent were recalled with fondness and praise by colleagues and elected officials alike. Superintendent Frank Arjulo built the foundation. So this is our eighth annual gala. And this gives us the ability to raise funds for many, many of our events with gifted and talented students in our school district. So Frank has been part of the foundation from day one, and tonight we're honoring Frank Gargiulo for his commitment to our foundation. He was so welcoming to all ideas. He loved to update. He loved to be innovative. Never got stale. Um, and you see a lot of veteran educators kind of slow down or lose energy and momentum. He never got stale. And he went right to the teachers to ask them, what's the best thing for the classroom right now? He would go right to the secretarial staff. What do you guys need right now? He would work with the principals. He never excluded a group. And we Frank has always pushed for education. When he was at St. Joe's, St. Joe's was an outstanding school. When he was principal at St. Joe's, when he went to the vocational school, he's made that into a national school with national records in terms of the scores. So Frank has been a, someone that this county should be very proud of. He had a great vision for the school. He took it from vocational to high tech, and it really does a phenomenal job. Very popular, very competitive, and people want to be there. And Frank has shown great leadership. His leadership took us to the new building, uh, which is named after him, and I think that's really a crowning achievement. The, the most rewarding part for me, and it's always been and it still is, is that when I'm in a community and I run into someone, it could be someone 60 years old, or 50 years old, or 20 years old, and they say, hey, Mr. Gargiulo, remember when? And many of them are very successful in, in terms of what they, their, their careers are and where they go in the community. That makes me feel the best. It gives me a lot of satisfaction. The Schools of Technology is comprised of three schools, High Tech High School, County Prep High School, and a middle school. Many of the students displayed their artistic talents during the gala. Uh, Hudson County Schools of Technology tries to individualize the programs for the kids and using different, um, different experiences uh, that they can give the ch kids, uh, the students, through different types of classes, uh, through arts, science, theater, and by doing that, making a whole person and allowing students to find what interests them. So as Frank Gargiulo enjoys his retirement, there is new leadership at the Schools of Technology, with the naming of Amy Lynn Rodriguez as the new superintendent. I've been at the schools now almost 20 years. He actually hired me as a facilitator for the middle school that he created based on brain-based learning and project learning. And he helped to mentor me every step of the way from a facilitator to a curriculum facilitator to a supervisor, assistant principal, just always making sure that we are invested in what is of the best interest for the student. I've been in education uh, 120 years now. The, uh, uh, very capable. I think it's time for a new face in, in the community. Uh, very pleasant, very knowledgeable, and I, I, I just don't think she could be anything but successful in the role she's playing right now. I met her when she was the principal of the middle school, which was a, such a small program that was in county prep. It blossomed, it grew, uh, and again, she was one of those, let's not get stale, let's be innovative, really fun, really welcoming. While the way we teach has changed over the years, one thing has remained constant. A student's interest drives learning, and one of the educators behind the wheel leading that change has been Frank Gargiulo. At Nanina's in the Park in Belleville, for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.